Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Bonds and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the quilt called Puzzle Pieces. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. You can see the quilt behind me is a coordinated bunch of, of blues and purples, a little bit of an olive green, and it looks like a puzzle. And we're going to use two and a half inch pre-cut strips to create the base of that puzzle and then add the little loops or tabs that create the puzzles. Okay, so I've got another collection of fabrics here. The nice part about doing these is if you've got a pre-cut selection of two and a half inch strips, the, the color coordinate, coordinating is already done for you, so you'll have that wonderful combination of lights and darks and a little bit of bright to have fun making your version of puzzle pieces. So from the two and a half inch pre-cut strips, you're going to cut a collection of two and a half inch squares. Like I, you see, I've got a bunch here. And then from the remainder part of the strip, you're going to keep pieces so that you can create your tabs. The tabs are created by using a, um, a bonding agent of your choice. This happens to be steam seam. And you follow the instructions with your material on tracing your um, shapes onto your uh, bonding agent and also the, the iron setting and the time it takes to bond um, the fabrics together. So just follow those instructions. Uh, once you've created and cut out the number of tabs you want, you may want to work about a row at a time on this to figure out how many tabs because as a designer and maker of your own quilt, you can add the number of tabs to interlock your pieces as you want. These are suggestions. You can look at the diagram and see how ours is done, and then you can create your own um, if you'd like to go further. So here is an example of a row. Um, we've got the, the two and a half inch squares. So we would lay out squares. I'll just do some of the squares here. And kind of plan as you go, as you go so that you would have fun colors next to each other. Maybe not two reds, because as the tab goes from one to the other, you wouldn't be able to see the definition between. And once you've laid out, maybe say, the first row of your quilt, you're going to go back and put the tabs in. So I've got an example that mimics the first row in this project. And if you're working row by row, you may want to use some sticky dots to keep yourself organized. Then uh, the little tab is cut out as you fuse that to the fabric, and then you cut out the tab and pull away the backing on it. Then you fuse it in place next to corresponding color. So I've got a gray square here and the tab fused in place on the square next to it. Then here, as if I'm following along with my kind of planned idea here, is I've got a kind of a peach colored square and the tab next to it fused in place. And I just keep going like that down the row. So this green would then bleed into this one, and the green here would have a tab going both directions out of it. You see, sometimes they're going both directions, sometimes one. So it's kind of designer's choice at this point. The tabs are all fused in place, and then what you do to create the row for the quilt is to take them and put them right sides together, seam here, and press back open. And you can see here, this row is all connected. The tabs are then in that seam allowance, and you would then plot out your next row, and you can see here how as I put the second row, I was planning my second row, I decided to put a tab that went down, matching color here, one here, one here, but didn't here. So it's kind of fun because every puzzle is a little bit different, so yours can be unique. Once you've got rows put together, of course, you would just join those right sides together, press open, and you're creating your puzzle piece quilt. Now, the last thing that you need to do once you have the entire quilt top put together is put on the border. And let's address the quilt here. You can see there, there are some tabs that come off into the border. So in our diagrams, we show you how to lay the border piece next to the quilt, plan where those are going to be placed, fuse them in place the same way you did on the small squares, then join your borders so that the tabs correspond to the block in the same color. So once you have all of that done and your entire top is completed, 
The design is so that you go in and you stitch around each of those tabs with um, a contrasting color or a monofilament, designer's choice again, and how you want to finish those edges. Um, if it's going to be a wall hanging and not going to be washed, then you wouldn't have to finish those edges, but if it's at all going to be used, um, you can finish those off designer's choice again. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.